A true masculine man lives in two realities at once. That's fear and freedom. Meaning that always and consistently he's uncomfortable and comfortable. This entire video, guys, is about you being able to understand that just because you want to be a man who's masculine, a man who's truly the man for women, does not mean that you will get to a place ever where you don't feel fear again. And even me and the guys I know and the guys who I know who are really great with women, they all feel fear constantly. If that's not with women, that's in other parts of their life. That's this, it's just the thing of becoming a man and being able to embody the masculine that you must have fear at the same time. I am a man that's incredibly masculine. Man, I, I wasn't so masculine back in the day, but I'm a man who who is incredibly masculine. And I have to tell you guys, I feel fear so much. I feel it a lot. I get afraid a lot, man. I really do. And I, I'm not afraid to say that because I'm not afraid of my fear. Being fearful and having fears is a normal thing. And I want you to understand that I, I don't want you to ever be striving towards never having to feel fear again. And I think that's where a lot of guys come into confusion of what it means to be a man that's free. Just because you're free as a man does not mean that you'll never feel fear. It just means that the, the varying degrees that you'll feel will be less than others. People who are very, very um, free and, and soft and open feel fucking fear. That is what happens when that comes with the territory of being that way. Me being somebody who's incredibly, incredibly fearful at times and, and incredibly free at the same time. I've learned a lot from it. I've learned a lot from the fact of me being somebody who is teaching you guys about, you know, fear and teaching you guys about being free as a man and being a masculine man and dealing with my fears in, in relation to that. Because I'm like, am I actually really uh, okay to speak about this? Am I somebody that's due to speak speak about this? You know, am I, am I old enough to speak about this? I, I know that I'm 25 and I have over a decade of, of experience with women, but... Am I really cut out to do this? I have fears about that. I have fears about these videos really getting to you guys. I have fears about the fact that, you know, I come from a different background than most guys who watch this video. And will they be able to understand me or will they really be able to connect with me because of my different background? You know, me being somebody who didn't grow up as a nerd or grow up as a, a, a man who wasn't good with women. I was wondering, you know, are you guys going to even understand the things I'm talking about? Because the way that I talk about it is very different from anybody in the community. I have a very different angle because I came with this thing in a very different way. And the fears about, you know, do guys look at my videos and think that they're, you know, as good as the other guys out there? You know, is this going to pay off one day? Is this is all this, this shit going to pay off? I literally have these fears coming through me. But at the same time, I'm also on the other end of the spectrum, fully free in the sense of, I know it'll pay off. Fully okay with, it'll pay off. These guys can get what these guys get what I'm saying because they can feel it coming from me. They don't just hear it; they feel it because they can feel that I feel where they are. I don't care what background I came from. I can connect to people on the level of emotion, which is the most important level. The level of experience, which is the most important level, because I can be from a completely different background than you and understand why you have crippling anxiety when you want to walk up to a woman. And you may be completely, you know, parallels with the, with the way I grew up. Literally, like, like in, in, in no way, it may seem like that, but in, every, in a lot of ways, there is a lot of uh, connecting points. So for me, man, it's, it's been a really a thing of, please, okay, man, you know that you have to keep going ahead and keep allowing yourself to work through fear and accept fear. And the deeper and deeper levels that I want to go to with accepting fear, which, and what pays off with that is freedom. That's the good balance. The great balance is for any man who really wants to embody the masculine way. 
being able to really go after what you want, being able to really be a rock, being able to really be immovable, really being able to be somebody who has clarity about what he loves, what he doesn't like, you know, a man who's able to show the truth of who he is moment to moment and at deeper and deeper levels, a man who's completely vulnerable and open to his own fears. If you really want to, you know, go the masculine way, you have to understand that these realities come with it. So let's think about it in terms of women. When you're with women, how does these two re two realities play for a man when he's talking to women, when he's being there for women, when he's in a relationship with a woman, when he's in an open relationship? You know, particularly these videos, I, I aim toward picking up because I know that that's what most guys who watch my video, they're not in the open relationship sense or the relationship sense. They're mainly towards how do I go out there and meet women and, and meet them in a situation and handle this situation. So if we had to view it around pickup, the main thing that I want you to understand is walking up to a woman and being afraid is definitely okay. If you think that it's not okay, then you are too far ahead of your own growth. You're too far ahead. If you really believe that, okay, if you're starting out and you want to go talk to a woman and you are absolutely afraid to do it and you believe that that is a weak thing, you don't know what strength is. Strength is being able to say, yes, I am scared. That's strength. Weakness is saying, no, I got it all together because you're trying to cover up. Remember, you have to accept the both realities. Yes, I want to be I want to be free, but at the same time, I feel so scared. I do. I feel so scared to go talk to this girl. I feel so scared to go for the kiss. I feel so scared to try to take her to my room when she's in my house. I feel so scared at these levels where I know I can have more freedom. And I have to tell you, that is okay. That is okay for you to feel to feel afraid in those moments. Because as guys, we've always had this pressure on us to always have it together. We have this pressure on us to always just make sure that you're in every moment confident. That you're in every moment you show the girl that you know you, you know what you're doing. You're going to take the right route. You're not going to fuck it up. And every moment show her that. And sometimes women put the pressure on men to be like that as well. They're like, I don't want him to just fuck up. I want him to just do everything right. And that's not, a, that's not a true reality. It's just like us saying, I want every girl to be amazing in bed. I want her to be able to move her hips in a way that uh, turns me on. I want her to be able to suck my dick in a way where it's like a porn star. I want her to be able to uh, be open in her heart and not be so closed down when, I wanna, when we want to go to another level of sexuality. I, I want her to be really open to my kiss. If it's like for her... her for herself, it's like for us having the um, judgment on her or the expectation of her to be completely open every single time to everything we do. And that's not the truth. And if uh, a woman was like that every single time, then we wouldn't. This, you wouldn't be watching this video. But it's not like that. And you have to understand that having the expectation on yourself to have no fear is an expectation that will lead you to always frustration. It will always lead you to frustration because you're like, why do I feel this fear? And I talk to my friend here so much about stop having expectations on yourself to feel a certain way when you see a woman. In certain situations, stop having expectations on yourself. You may have been in that situation, whatever it is, walking up to a girl, taking her home, moving her into the bedroom, taking off her bra. You may, all, you may have this situation happens so many times for yourself but then you still start to feel things along the way you're like why am i still feeling this i thought i got over this a long time ago and i tell you to stop expecting yourself to f want to feel a certain way because you haven't done these things over and over stop wanting yourself to feel the immovability that uh you should you think you should feel like oh man i, I here i go again feeling this you know why am i going for the kiss right now and i feel these sensations why do i feel scared let go. Let go of the reality of wanting it to only be one way. You want a free reality without the fear. And that's never a reality. It is. That's never a reality. As long as you're stretching and growing, this reality here will be there because of the stretching and growing. But you have to understand that the stretching and growing simultaneously feels different from freedom. Freedom feels like nothingness completely. 
and fear feels like, oh my God, I feel this sensation and that sensation and this and that. So it's like you have freedom, but at the same time you have like this, this, this sensation on underneath. And that's the beautiful thing though. That's something that you need to understand is that you have these things working with you all the time. You have the part where you want to be free and you have the part where you shedding away your ego. But you have to understand that as you're shedding away your ego and you hit a new freedom level, there's something that comes with that freedom level for you to go to a deeper freedom level. So fear and freedom are, are one. They are. If you want to be perfectly free, if you want to be, I like this side, if you want to be perfectly free, then you have to be perfectly okay with accepting freedom. And once you're okay with both of these in, then they both dissipate. They like cancel out to nothingness. And that's what people call enlightenment. But being able to go as a man, you know, as you're going out there and talking to women and, and in conversation and you run out of things to say and you start getting fearful, you're like, oh my God, I ran out of things to say. It's okay for you to run out of things to say. It's okay for you to feel those sensations for having been in this new situation. You haven't built the immovability in yourself to be able to handle the situation and be in control and be underneath yourself and to be present with the woman. I talk so many times about being present. I don't want you to be present so that you never feel anything. I just want you to start trusting yourself and start using your breath to bring you back to this moment with her. Because as you come back to this moment with her, you notice that the, the, the fear or whatever sensation, whatever you want to call it, you can call it fear or whatever, whatever sensation that's really discomforting inside of you, it'll start to dwindle. It'll start to get less, it'll start to get weaker, and as it starts to get weaker, you are able to breathe fuller. You're able to be there more. You're able to be clearer when you're in front of her. I don't want you to ever get to a point where you're never feeling fear. I don't want you to ever do that because I don't do that. I still run up to girls sometimes and I'm like, well, sometimes, sometimes I do get in that place like, holy shit, I'm, why am I feeling this again? And then I go, well, it's just the way it is. And I just run up to the girl and I accept that it's there. And the fact that I accept that it's there, which means that I'm not trying to go into resistance to it. I'm not trying to go into why am I feeling this? These are all resistance things. Why am I feeling this? Trying to actually get away from it. Trying to just breathe it away like, right, it's going to leave. These are all things that's going to not help you in this is avoidance things. It's the things that go into resistance to it. But the moment you could just literally become whatever that is, wherever the sensation is, locate it and become that, it'll actually hit a peak in your body and then dissipate. And that's what you want. Do you want to get to this place inside of yourself where, yes, I do feel fear, but I'm still being able to do the things that I want to do. Feel the, feel the fear and do it anyway, as Su Susan Jeffers says. The thing is, is I have really come into understanding that fear and freedom are both, it's a marriage. It is. It's a marriage within yourself. And understanding that, yeah, with the, with the deepest levels of fear and me accepting fear comes the deepest levels of freedom. And the moment you can accept these two realities, everything becomes a joy. Because now you're okay with fear. You're okay with uh, fear. As you live freely, you're okay with fear. You're okay with uncomfortableness. Uncomfortably comfortable. You're okay with it, man. And in relation to women, you're walking up to women and you're saying hello. And maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you've been doing it for a while. And you're starting to experiment with different things. As you're experimenting with different things, be okay with the fact that in the experimentation, you will feel sensations that feel really discomforting. And that's okay. But you but you're never have as a goal, I want to get to a place where I never feel this. Because if you have that as a goal, then it's it's not a goal that's achievable. It's not an achievable goal. You will always be running up against your goal. You'll be going towards your goals but at the same time running up against it. You'll be pulled in two different directions because it's not the way the reality works. Be free. Wanna be free. But at the same time, accept fear into your world. Accept sensational discomfort into your world. Into your world. Accept these things and then you start to be free and at the same time feel scared. And I talk so much in my videos about being open and scared. And I mean, I've talked it more in my, my, in my past videos. More so in my talk, in my feminine and masculine polarity talk on the Natural Lifestyle channel, I talk about being open and scared. And that's what this uh, polarity is is that this 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 thing inside of you where 
you can be really, really open, which means really be free, but at the same time, be scared. And that reality brings in a lot of jewels. It brings in a lot of jewels. So if I can leave you with this, it's this. To the level that you're willing to accept fear, it's to a level that you're willing to be free. However deep you're willing to accept fear and face the things you're afraid of will be to the direct, to the direct correlation to how free you'll be as a masculine man. And it doesn't stop. After pickup, if you move to open relationships, it doesn't stop. You know, you're with your woman and you know, you guys are sleeping with other people and you may start feeling fear about another guy stealing her or another guy having a bigger penis than you, another guy being able to be a better lover than you. And you have to deal with the fear of that and just, just it just happens over and over. Then when you move into a relationship, you probably have to deal with the fear of, like I had to deal with, is this the woman for me? She did it, was this the right choice? Fuck man, is, this, is she gonna be able to live up to my expectations? Ah, that's what it is. Don't have expectations on her. Now I have to let go of that thing. Now I'm now with her. I'm like, fuck, man. All these things about cheating out there in the world. What if she cheats on me? It's a fear that comes through me. And then I go, well, that's not the thing. I trust my woman no matter what. So it's just like, as all these things are coming, I'm not trying to be perfectly okay with everything all the time. I'm not always trying to be completely, I get it. I'm not always trying to be that. Never will I try to be. I'm a incredibly emotional man. I always tell, I always talk to a woman and I tell my woman, I'm like, baby, I'm, uh, today I just don't feel like I'm, I'm nervous. I feel scared. And she's incredibly supportive. And that's, that's, that's amazing is that you can, you can express these things about you. And you, if a person thinks you're weak for expressing these things, then they're weak. That's what it is. If you meet a person in the world, this is for you. If you meet a person in the world, I don't care if that's a friend, a family, uh, a foe. If you meet a foe, they won't like you. A woman, understand that if they think you're weak because you express trueness, like these true parts of yourself, I was just nervous or I feel a little bit scared about doing this. If, 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 they're, if they think that you're weak or you be like, oh man, I'm just doubting myself or I don't believe I can do this. And they're like, oh man, you're weak. And they're, they're weak as well. A strong person, a for real strong person would never say that to you. Never. They would support you because they understand what it's like to be that same way. Anybody who's truly a strong person understands fear, understands what it's like to feel afraid, understand what it's like to work through that. That's what they gather their strength from, is working through them being scared. It is okay for you to be scared and for you to be free. And the reason why I say a masculine man, a true masculine man, is because a true masculine man is always on a search for freedom. He's always on a search for freedom. That's why he kills his ego. He's always on the search for free. He's doing all these things in his life to always move into freedom. But also that same man, he starts to build a certain relationship to fear. And the relationship he builds to fear is a marriage. Because he understands that it comes with the territory of being a really free man. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles. And if you guys want to do coaching with me, I'm here in America until January, January 2nd, you know, because I usually leave after the first of the year. And I look forward to, you know, seeing you guys in the future at the time you do show up in my life. And until next time, subscribe below to Essence of Solo. I'm out, man.